Hello, everybody. Welcome back to an episode of the Virginia Tech Show. I'm your host, Kenny Reese. Well, Virginia Tech baseball continue to have a good season this year. I do want to point out, I want to, I want to give out a little bit of credit to Patrick Mason, former Virginia Tech head coach. He was a Virginia Tech head coach for four years. Let you know, that's a little bit of an expression, but it's also the truth. Virginia Tech, under, being under him, have always have good batters. And before that, when he was an assistant coach under Pete Hughes, Virginia Tech had good base batters. And we still got good baseball batters. But difference in why well, he said that, Mr. Kent, because Virginia Tech has always had good batters all the years. But difference in John Schritt's batters and Patrick Mason batters, the John Schritt's batters looking like right now is good enough to continue on Go get drafted and play Major League Baseball. That's like football, Virginia Tech. Left fielder, I think he plays rough field or whatever he plays. Third baseman, I think one he plays. Whatever position he plays. Chad Pender has played for the Oakland A's. Also, the town. He played under a huge era when he was a senior in 2013. Anyway. Let's go into the real stuff. Virginia again, Virginia Tech baseball continue to have a good season. They are sixteen and nine overall and eleven and seven in ACC and they are first place in the coastal division. Virginia Tech baseball leader score is Gavin Cross with seven home runs in the season, twenty six RBIs. And average 396, and that's changed because of last night game. Virginia Tech got some had a little slow from the beginning. Beyond the beginning, they have victory series wins against North Carolina and against Miami. They slowed down at one and two against Clemson and one against Florida State. But the Virginia Tech has improved. Was a sweep over Pittsburgh. And the person to help us in the sweep against Pittsburgh was Kevin Madden. It was a rip walk-off RBI single. And Virginia Tech walked off in the bottom of the ninth. 65. If it was at Boston College, Virginia Tech would not have won that game. <laughs> but Virginia Tech got the victory. This second victory against Boston College. TJ Gavin Cross. Hit a two-run home run against Boston College, and it tied the game at two. And then T.J. Runfield helped with the victory as well against Boston College, tying the game at three. And then again, Tanner Thomas hit a field of choice single. And then uh, Kate Susser, I, I forgot who it was, went home, and we won 4-3. We got the series wins against Boston College first time since 2017. And now... Virginia Tech, Gavin Cross, as I mentioned, who's our play to mention with 700 runs and 26 RBIs, averaging 396. That's impressive. Gavin Cross, last night, I listened to this on the radio last night, didn't watch it on the internet because of ESPN Plus. He had seven RBIs and four hits. He had a grand slam. Last night against East Tennessee State, a triple, a double, and two singles. Gavin McCross was the was on fire last night against East Tennessee State. And man, it was fun to listen to. Mmm. Gavin McCross. Fun fact, his father, Adam Cross, played East Tennessee State. And we glad we got his son, Gavin Cross, playing for Virginia Tech. I can see Gavin Cross one day playing in the Major League level. Let me know in the comments. You think Gavin Cross is like Major League Baseball? Let me know in the comments. But Virginia Tech Baseball continued to improve and uh, all because of Gavin Cross, Jack Curley, Kevin Mannett, Tom Swivel, and... Shoot. And, uh, and K. Hunter, who is hurt, by the way. But especially Gavin Cross. He is the star player. He's the lead of Virginia Tech in the home runs. I think he coached the lead in the ACC home runs. Gavin Cross is ranked as the top 25 right fielder. 
And he was going Virginia Tech season is doing good at 16-9. Sweep against Pittsburgh and uh, win series wins against Boston College. Elite Tech season for a 16-9 season and 11-7 in the ACC. Anyway, that's all I got to say on the Virginia Tech show. This video is late, by the way. Well done early, but we got to talk about my basketball recruit today. Michael, um, Dora. If you want to check out that video, check that video if you haven't seen it already. As I was recording this video, Virginia Tech will play Wake Forest Friday, the weekend, this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Not at 6 p.m. on ACC Extra Friday, I think 3 p.m. on Saturday, and 1 p.m. Sunday. All on ACC Extra. Anyway, that's all I got to say in the beginning section. If you like this video, if you enjoy it, please let leave me a like and the comments. Click the subscribe button when you help me out. And again, oh yeah, one thing. I'm going to do Virginia Tech softball season tomorrow. And the number thing I need to point out, Virginia Tech got a player from my high school, Christian Riley. He's, he plays the weekday games as a reliever. Cool, because he, he played, let you know, pointed out, he played for my high school, Halifax County High School, South Boston, Virginia, Alton, Virginia. I just want to point that out. But anyway, that's what I was say in the video. Please like this video and if you enjoyed it. Let's leave a comment. Let's, talk in the, let's click the subscribe button when you help me out. And again, let's go hokey.